Hello everyone, in this video I will present you how to install CSON version 2 on your local computer from the latest source code. In order to install CSON, you have to uh, have all the necessary libraries and application installed on your computer and also have a GitHub token. So, which are those libraries? You have to have Git, GDK, Node.js, Maven, Turbo, Docker. On a Windows computer, you also have to set the allowance of all long pass. This is how you can do that. And you also need to create a token on GitHub. If you don't know how to do that, please refer to the serious web installation video where I explain everything in details. So imagine that uh, you have all those things installed on your local computer. So the next step you need to do is uh, to download the source code. In order to do that, you have to have uh, uh, an empty folder. So I have a, an empty folder here and I will just execute this git clone command. So this will download the source code. So as you can see, I have this sysom folder, which I need to change to. It is change directory command. And then I can see that all the code is here. So far so good. So the next thing you have to do is to log in to npm library with your git username. This is it. And the token I just generated, which will be this one. The answer will be that you are logged in into that scope. So far so good. So the next step we need to do is run this npm configuration command to use bash as a, as a shell script. So, so good. And then run the npm ci command to download all the libraries necessary for the front end of Sison. It will be, I think, quite fast. We'll see roughly half a minute or so. So we just have to beta a little bit for that. Okay, so as you can see, the, the, the couple of libraries, everything seems fine. So then we have to enter this npx, npx turbo run build command. This will build the front end code. So we have to wait a little bit installation has succeeded so it installed something that was missing and then it basically builds all the stuff that is necessary so what does it do it has a couple of typescript files and it compiles them into javascript into a single javascript file it also generates uh, some css files i think so that will be basically like a, a web front end and uh, what we would like to achieve is to have this web front end that we just built. We also want to build the back end front end. We want to kind of put them together into a single file and run them uh, on, the, on your local computer. So that's, that's the goal. So as you can see, it finished in like uh, 42 seconds. It was very fast. So then what we want to do is what we built here to copy into the back end part so that we can create a single file. So in order to do that, just start bash. It's like very hackish, but okay. Uh, create a directory here in the backend and copy all the frontend code into the backend. Done, and we just exit. That's fine. So now the backend part contains everything. Now we just have to compile it. So in order to do that, what we need to do is to set the user to my github username obviously use yours and set the password to the, uh, to the token that we generated okay so far so good and then the only thing you need to do here is enter uh, execute this maven command this will build all the backend code together with the frontend code into a single jar file so that's basically so very easy normally you shouldn't have any kind of errors here i think 
uh, if you don't download a bunch of jar files. Uh, if you see like errors, then please check that the password is set correctly and the username is set correctly. So username should be your GitHub user. The password should be your token that you generated. So yeah, as you can see, it is being able to download those uh, Java libraries. It will take some time first. Uh, when you run it a second time, it will take a little bit more time. As you can see, everything is successful. So build success. That's great. This is what we wanted. So the next step is to create a Docker image. In order to do the Docker image, you have to be in this Sison folder and execute the following command docker build mi minus t this is the name of the the image and backend application season application enter so as you can see docker image alas it will print out that we have new now the next step is to run the application a new image here and so what we want to do is to Sorry, there was this typo here to, to change directory this backend application system application. This is what we wanted. And start Docker. So Docker compose up. What it will do, it will start a PostgreSQL and start the jar file that we just generated, basically. And yeah, we need to build it a little bit. Okay, so it says it, it is already started. So we go to this localhost 8080, enter. And yeah, maybe a control F5 is required because I had uh, previously uh, on the same port running uh, the, the serious web application. So here we already have something like system and version 2. Okay, so left mouse click. What can I do here? Well, I can create all definition. Ah, that's great. And I can create like a not another part, but yeah, maybe another part definition and the part usage. And then I can somehow connect them. I mean, I don't know anything about system version 2. I am familiar with system version 1, 2. I know it's a bit different, but like, okay, can we create like an attribute, like, yeah, name or something. Yeah, I, I can do that. Okay, but so as you can see, it, it works on some level. You can, you can play with it. Uh, you can try it out. Obviously, it will improve a lot over time. This is, this is our expectation. Uh, but yeah so you can you can start playing with this and if you have any problems please just write me a message i am happy to help you see you guys